Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is a desktop review of the H and K USP nine millimeter pistol. First of all, comes in the uh, black standard H and K box. Other than the really cool logo on there, nothing really remarkable remarkable about the box. Um, this particular model, pull it out of the box here, is the uh, H and K USP nine millimeter. And this particular one has some, uh, some slightly different features to it. There are obviously several different versions of the H&K USP. This is the, uh, <clears throat> this is the version with the LEM trigger and uh, the uh, jet funnel mag and the high capacity magazine. So let's go ahead and begin the review. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and safety check the gun. Magazine is empty as is the gun, nothing in the chamber. So, <clears throat> real quickly, um, obviously H&K is one of those uh, H&K is one of those uh, gun manufacturers that's sort of a legendary status. If you've ever watched a, if you've ever watched a movie that involved any type of Navy SEAL or Bruce Willis or anything like that, you'll see they make great um, they make great uh, movie stars these pistols and um, and it is for good reason so um, USP, USP stands for universal self-loading pistol um, a little bit of the history of the uh, H&K USP it was originally developed for uh, the US military trials for the uh, pistol <clears throat> for the pistol trials uh, back when the uh, M9 uh, Beretta was selected as the uh, as the standard sidearm for the US military um, however, it did develop into quite a phenomenal uh, civilian pistol due to its development, and it is of typical uh, H&K German quality. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gun real quick. <clears throat> First, we'll start with the sights. Um, this particular H&K is equipped with the uh, three-dot night sights. Uh, really nice, very cool um, uh, sight picture. Uh, very good sight radius, nice and long. <clears throat> uh, this particular one, the uh, controls on it are the uh, magazine release, which is right here. It is ambidextrous. If you look at it, it's actually a tab that you pull down on. When you pull down on it, magazine is drop free and comes right back up there. Obviously, you have your trigger and the slide stop and slide release. Those are the major controls on this particular version. On other versions, the versions 1 through 3, you're also going to have a lever here, and I'll show you uh, that lever on a future video or a different video of these particular guns. This accessory right here is not standard to the H&K. That actually is, I believe, uh, GG&G. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, it's GG&G, and it is a uh, rail device so that you can attach a tactical light. One of the disadvantages of the H&K USP is it has a proprietary rail system on here that will only use their tactical light um, unless you buy one of these accessories. This particular one, I ordered it from, I, I believe I ordered it from GG&G. Um, it's beautifully made, it's very lightweight, it's very strong, um, but it does bulk up the gun a little bit. Um, and the ergonomics are just not quite right when you put a light on there. Um, you kind of have to reach forward in order to reach the, uh, the tactical light. Uh, a couple other things about this one. This gun is what they call the LEM trigger. So what the LEM trigger is, is uh, when the gun is, uh, when you insert a uh, magazine into the gun and you cycle it, the hammer stays down. Uh, and as far as the trigger goes, the trigger has a really light pull initially. So I can literally, it's probably about a, I mean, it's like a half pound pull until it stages right there. And then from there, it is about a three and a half to four pound pull to get the hammer to drop. However, from there, the gun is now true double action. So if I want to, uh, a perfect example of this is, let's say for instance, you fire the gun and you have a misfire due to ammunition. So you pull the trigger and nothing happens. You now can pull the trigger again it will operate the hammer however this time it is a full pull it is a full double action pull it's probably eight to ten pound pounds of trigger force 
uh, to pull it and give you the ability to strike the um, strike the uh, uh, round again. So kind of a neat feature, kind of a neat trigger. Um, biggest advantage to this one here that I've seen is this pistol is real popular in pistol competition because um, it is you can you can run the gun in basically in um, uh, in single action right from the get go. Every trigger pull will be the same. Um, this particular gun is also in, uh, features what's called the jet funnel magazine. It is a metal uh, jet funnel that attaches to the bottom of the gun. And then also it has a true high capacity magazine. And I forget how many rounds this magazine holds. I want to say it's 17 or 18 rounds. Um, the neat part about this magazine, this is a steel uh, magazine floor plate. And so it really drops free from the gun with um, with vigor. It will fall clear of the grunt of the gun because um, this thing is basically a big fishing weight on the bottom of the gun. Uh, these particular magazines were built and uh, during the uh, during the um, assault weapons ban, so they are stamped, restricted law enforcement, government use only. Um, but uh, very cool. They're still reinforced up here at the top and uh, pretty neat. Very, very pricey, just for the record. Uh, these, these pistol mags, I have seen them recently uh, at, I believe, 60 bucks a piece, uh, somewhere in that price range. So, um, like anything H&K, high cost is a factor with it. However, performance-wise, absolutely fantastic. A uh, couple of features about this gun that I also really like. Um, it uh, was one of the original uh, polygonal rifling uh, guns, at least uh, the, the initial ones were not, but the, the second gen ones were, they all have polygonal rifling. The gun is, um, because it was designed originally for use in the military and also the Navy SEALs, it has what they call their maritime coating on there, so it is highly corrosion resistant. Um, the grip has a really nice stippling to it and checkering front and rear. And it really does have a nice hand feel to it. It also has an extremely large trigger guard in case you're shooting with gloves on. Um, or if you've got big old honking fingers, no problem to get it in there. Uh, and other than that, this gun is absolutely 100% um, high quality and reliable as far as the way it shoots. Um, you will enjoy... Uh, owning an HK product, I assure you of that. Um, they are they are very tactical, and um, so if you get a chance, highly recommend one. Uh, let's go over the pros and cons of the gun. So on the pro side, um, you've got great quality, uh, great quality for the gun. Uh, it absolutely shoots great, very accurate and reliable. And hey, let's be honest, it's an HK. What else do you want? However, let's also look at the cons of the situation. Number one, H and K that can stand for high cost. Um, there is nothing cheap about these guns. Not the initial purchase price, not the accessories, not the magazines, not the night sights. Um, everything that you order that comes on an H and K, um, expect to pay probably 20% more and have it be real difficult to find. There's a couple really great vendors out on the internet now, um, hkparts.net, HK Specialist, some of those, but um, don't expect to walk into your local gun store and say, hey, I'm, I'd like a couple of jet funnel mags for my HK USP. They're just gonna look at you like you're crazy. Um, the accessories, again, um, accessories for this gun, they gotta be from H&K or from an H&K vendor. So there's, other than this G&G &G bit right here, which is rare, um, there's very little out there on the market for specifically made for this gun, including holsters and that type of thing. It's just tough to find. Um, and last is kind of the size of it. This is a big, you know, battle pistol. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a large pistol. Don't expect to carry this pistol concealed. Um, it, it is a great duty weapon. It can be carried in a holster, no problem. But um, if you're if you're planning on wearing you know uh, a pair of running shorts and want to tuck this into your waistband, it's not going to work. It's going to go clattering to the ground. Um, so other than that, really really cool pistol. I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a uh, further review of a couple other versions um, that I have. We've got the uh, the H and K USP Compact, 
and also the H and K full size uh, 45. And we're going to go ahead and, and do some size comparisons with them. But for now, that'll be the uh, the uh, start of the H and K USP series uh, review. If you have any questions or comments about the gun, please uh, please let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the, the video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't for, forget to uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see what else is coming up. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.